Former Kiambu Governor Ferdinand Waititu, his wife and their co-accuser will now have to defend themselves in court in connection with the 588 million shillings road tender scandal after an anti-corruption court ruled that they have a case to answer. The court ruled that a cursory review of the evidence on record pointed to the accused person's involvement in the multi-million road construction scandal. In a brief ruling, Milimani Anti-Corruption Chief Magistrate Thomas Nzioki ruled that 32 prosecution witnesses had directly implicated former Kiambu Governor Ferdinand Waitito, his wife Susan Wangari, and companies linked to him in the road tender scandal. The magistrate maintained that the prosecution had proved the case against the accused beyond reasonable doubt to warrant their defense. The former governor and his wife had urged the court to set them free, arguing that the case against them was politically instigated after he fell out with the regime of former President Uhuru Kenyatta. The two, through their lawyer, informed the court that they will be entering their defense on oath from 19th of March next year. While Tito was first arraigned in 2019, facing several charges, including fraud, money laundering, and abuse of office. A company owned by the former governor and his wife is alleged to have received more than 25 million shillings from a company which had been contracted by the Kiambu County government to develop roads through irregular tender process. In the case, Waitito and his wife were charged with running a hotel which they co-founded where it is alleged they received 7.2 million shillings from the same company contracted by the county. Vincent Odur, NTV.